welcome back to budget stuff save repeat i'm melissa um thank you so much for being here we are doing more of the same we are going to be stuffing my vacation binder um the year is coming to an end and the amount of money we'll be able to stuff in our vacation binder is going to go down so you guys probably remember that i budget for the year and next year um we are looking at our deficit because when we budget for the year we put everything that we want in our budget and it's always at a deficit and so that means we have to start removing things out we have to start finagling the numbers a little bit to make it all balance out um, we're being more honest with how we spend at the grocery store the price increases um, how we spend household items and entertainment items um, realistically what we can do with our mortgage. So since it's going to change next year, I just want to keep stuffing my vacation binder because we are going to go on a vacation every year. And so we're going to stuff what we can this year with the money that we have. So today I'm going to be stuffing, is this, hold on, two, four, six, eight, ten, a hundred and fifty dollars So we're just going to keep moving right along because... Uh, even though we don't know where we're going, we do like to go on a yearly family trip and a family of four flights and everything, it adds up quickly. So let's start with transportation and let's go ahead and put $50 in transportation. So no matter where we go, we're going to need parking or transfers from the airport to the resort or we're going to need tolls or gas so transportation is always a part of all of our vacations so we're just going to be responsible now and set the money aside and so I really do like doing this um saving this type of way it really has helped us come under budget every year and actually because we started saving this way when i'm doing our yearly budget i can see i think i had close to four thousand dollars coming out for this and i know that um it doesn't take that much so i was able to reduce that number down um a lot to help with the budget so um, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 42. Okay, so $425 is in transportation and our goal here is $600. So we are making progress. And if I can get most of these finished um, or close to finished by the end of the year, that would help our budget out a lot for next year also. Um, so shopping, this is where I made the huge mistake. So I am going to go ahead and skip this because it's it's um, on the right track. Souvenirs, let's go ahead and put 40 in here for souvenirs. And I like um, Cairo told me it wasn't a mistake. It was just an oops. And like that is the beauty of budgeting. You, um, if you're a planner and you can look ahead and when you see you've made mistakes, you have time to make the adjustments. You have time to go back and say, hey, I need to pivot and save more or I've saved too much so I can reallocate this. And that definitely happens in my, um, uh, what is it? The pet boarding area because the prices go up every year. So I can already, I start from where we were last year, but usually I'm going to need to pivot and add more money in that category. And that's okay. As long as, you know, I keep on top of it and give myself time to do that. So we are at five, 10, 15, 20. 22, 24, 26, 28, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, $380 is in souvenirs now. And we don't have that many icons left on these trackers. So it tells me two things. One, we're in a good spot for our vacation next year. And two, that means I will start saving for 2026 um, <laughs> vacation before I know it. So pet boarding, like I was just talking about, we will put 20 in here and we have a dog. Our dog is getting up there in age. Um, so, you know, I don't know what the future holds for him. He is 15 going on 16 
in less than six months and he's starting to show his age so it's um it's a little sad but for so long so we're at 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 22 24 26 27 28 so we're at 280 dollars and our goal here is 480 and that was the rate last year was 45 dollars so i'm interested to see if it will stay that or will it go up um moving on the tips we're going to put 20 dollars in tips um, now let's put the two tens because we definitely will need smaller bills when we're doing our tips and we'll go ahead and color in two here. But yeah, I know a lot of you have shared with me that you started a vacation binder. I am so happy to hear that. I do feel like vacations are self-care if you can afford it. I understand there was a time where we did not go on vacations, but it is just that um that time for me and my family to just disconnect no phones really no emails no work obligations and it really it um puts something back in us right like it gives you that boost to go back and keep keep on the grind two four six eight ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen so we have 170 in our tip category so then our last category of miscellaneous is twenty dollars this is the money that i honestly expect to bring back i'm okay with spending it but um miscellaneous is not um going through our other categories and then coming over here and touching it it's the things that we don't plan for in my mind so two four six eight ten so 15, 17, 18, 19. So we have $190 in miscellaneous. And that is it. Like that is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to stay the course, stay as consistent as we can. Um, we are looking forward, but we're staying on the plan that we have now. And now that there's extra, a little extra money from, you know, being fully funded in our Christmas fund, maxing out social security, soon maxing out, um, retirement and, um, contributions. So we'll just transfer that money over to mortgage, vacation, other things that we want to do. And this is, um, in my mind, having the extra discretionary income where you can do things that you are working hard to do. So I don't think the grass is greener on in many scenarios, but I think being on a financial journey, the grass is greener financially when you sacrifice and you do the right things um, with your money, actually manage it and know where it's going. And then you'll get to the point where a vacation is um, something that can be in full rotation in your budget. So I appreciate you guys being here and I will talk to you soon. Bye.